Hey, what is up guys? Star Wars Real Talk. I just had to make a brief video on this. I wasn't planning on making any YouTube videos today, but this couldn't wait. Um, I've been really busy, as you may have noticed from the lack of content on my channel lately, but I mean, I really wanted to make a video talking about this. I mean, I just pulled over in a, in a car to just to talk about this. I'm not doing any edits. I'm just talking raw. So the voice of, of Darth Vader, right? James Earl Jones. He is officially retired, the voice of Darth Vader. So when you read that headline, it's shocking because you think we're never going to hear Darth Vader again, but that's not the case. He just signed the rights back over to Disney, I guess. Um, the point is that they don't need him to green light every time they want to use Vader's voice. They don't, he doesn't have to be there. It's not going to be considered stealing or, um, I don't know, unethical, you know, if he passes, right? They're, they have the right to use his voice, and he's fine with that. They probably gave him a big, you know, check for that or whatever. Um, the point is, is that I'm just happy that this was his decision. I guess part of me always thought that he was going to be around for the voice of Vader as long as he was alive. I don't know why. It just, you just don't ever think about it. You know, I just, just assumed that one day he would be gone, and then we would mourn the loss of Vader's voice and just enjoy it while we have it. Like, you might remember if you're in my Discord that I, I made a, a post saying while Kenobi was coming out, I was saying, guys, enjoy these lines from Vader because you know, like he's not gonna be around forever. You know, cherish them. So moving forward, there it's not even gonna be someone else's voice, like a voice actor who sounds like him, because they don't really need that stuff anymore. Now we have like AI technology that can synthesize voices. And we've already seen that in uh the Mandalorian with Luke. I think it was pretty good. I didn't even know it was synthesized till after. Right, you just take voice files and you put it through this, I guess, processing system, and, and and AI is able to replicate it. So that's fine and all, and I think we've probably heard that in Kenobi too. I know that James Earl Jones was a part of Kenobi, but who knows how much of that was AI? Maybe they're testing it out to see if people would notice. I don't know, but you know, I think that that's probably going to be fine because Vader's voice already is supposed to sound, I guess, kind of deep and robotic and not unhuman. You know, there's always been a way about Vader's voice that's booming and it chills you to your bones, you know? So I, yeah, I think it's going to be fine. I'm a little worried about the delivery of it because it's just the way that he says things. It's not necessarily like you can get technology to mimic, you know, the tone and the depth, but can you get the technology to mimic the delivery, the way that he says the lines, the spacing between the words, where he puts emphasis? You know, when I was making the the intro from my YouTube channel, the it is time for us to talk, real talk, whatever, <laughs> forgetting the lines of my own intro. But the point is that I, I was watching all these YouTube videos of Darth Vader's voice. I was trying to mimic them, and I was trying to make my line because I didn't take one of Darth Vader's lines. I, this is a new line I tried to make sound like Darth Vader. And I had a really hard time mimicking it because the way he delivers is so unique, you know? You can't just get anyone to say it. It won't just sound like Vader just because you have a, a voice changer over it, right? It's in the, the delivery. So I don't know if AI can do that. I mean, it probably can. You put a bunch of sound files in and then it's able to figure it out. But yeah. I think it's going to be fine. It's just if the delivery doesn't, if it doesn't have that bone chilling delivery, it might not quite feel like Vader, but I'm sh I'm sure it's going to be fine. You know, they know what they're doing with Darth Vader. We just, I just trust Disney with that. They haven't really screwed, <laughs> screwed him up yet. Um, the last point I wanted to make is how crazy it is that, I mean, Star Wars started with, you know, David Prowse and James Earl Jones, that Darth Vader, right? Those guys, the combination made Darth Vader and he lived on for those three movies and then but he was back a little bit in Revenge of the Sith and you know we've seen Vader a little bit here and there and James Earl Jones has been around you know he shows up to the studio probably for an afternoon and he delivers his lines and he's done and Vader lives on but now that he's retired his voice you know it's not what am I trying to say it's the fact that he's like 90 years old, so probably for most of his life, he has been Darth Vader. And Darth, the Star Wars has lived on through him as Darth Vader, right? So now it's like a character has outlived the lifespan of the person that is that created him. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, Darth Vader is going to l live on longer than the person who played him. Probably the next... 
He's going to outlive Hayden Christensen. He's going to outlive the next person. Darth Vader is, yeah, we always talk about how iconic he is, but this is just like, yeah, he's timeless. You know, and now if we can synthesize his voice, we can put any person in that suit. We're not going to know who it is. I mean, we enjoy Hayden being in there because it's nostalgic and, you know, but it, it doesn't, doesn't that doesn't have to be Hayden for it to be Darth Vader. It can be anyone. So it's just this crazy idea that Darth Vader is more, he's almost just become this, uh, like a symbol or an idea, you know, that's timeless to quote V for Vendetta. So, uh, yeah, I, I think that's all I had to say about it. Am I bummed out about it? I mean, sure, who isn't? But at the same time, this was his decision. It wasn't that he died and it was just kind of a cold, hard cut off. You know, this is a good way to kind of phase him out. He can at least be around to, you know, maybe we'll get his thoughts on AI Darth Vader and maybe he'll say it's awesome. Like, who knows, right? But I think that this is probably a good way for it to end. Um, it does feel a little bit like, I don't know. It's the end of an era, right? And that kind of stings. That that hurts a little bit, being a Darth Vader fan. Um, knowing that it's not James Earl Jones, you know, does that take away from Darth Vader? Does it make him any less than Darth Vader? I don't know. Those are good questions. Maybe we can talk about it in the Discord sometime. Okay, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, I'm going to be returning to making some content. I've already got about three or four video ideas lined up that I just got to get started on. So, all right. Thanks for watching. May the Force be with you.